What's up guys, it's Nile, and today I'm going to be showing y'all how to build this minimalist starter house for survival, creative, whatever you would like. As you can see down here I have shroom lights. Now those, I would say those are pretty easy to obtain, however, you could replace these with maybe a glass block over torches or glowstone or even redstone lamps, like there's multiple things. So. The block palette really isn't that strict. Whatever you can get your hands on, just swap out with different blocks, you know, and make it to where you can build it with the materials you have in your world. All right, so let's get into the building process. To start off, place six blocks in a line like so. For the length, we're gonna go seven blocks, including one of the blocks that we just placed. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Go ahead and repeat that and just connect both to make a rectangle. Go to the side that you chose for the front and place one block on the left side. Now this part is optional, however I would definitely recommend if you're going for the minimalist setup to use this and I'll explain why in a second. Basically you want to dig down two blocks. After you've dug down two blocks just choose any random block and cover this whole area with that block. We'll be removing this block in a little bit. Then destroy one of the blocks and climb down under all of them. Now you want to get barrels and place them on every block upside down. The reason I suggest this for a very minimalist setup is that you can store items within these blocks but it's also a great floor design and you won't have any need for chests to be laying around the house taking up extra room. Once you're done, just dig out the side and you can destroy our filler block. As you can see, it makes a really cool wood pattern and it blends in well with the dark oak wood pattern we're using. Now, starting at the block sticking out that we placed, build up four blocks on top of that block that we had originally. Now behind that block, place two blocks to the same height, as well as on the other side, two blocks to the same height. Now connect the two. For the current design I'm doing, I made the door just glass panes. However, if you're in survival, I would not recommend using this because zombies will come into your house. Now I want to go to the back left corner and make a window that's two blocks wide and three blocks tall. Now you can fill in all the other blocks on this wall. Now to finish off all the walls for the bottom floor, we just want to come to the right side and fill in this whole wall solid. And then on the front, connect both on the top block. It should look like this when it is complete. Now grab a dark oak slab and place it on the upper half of the block all the way around this top area. And it should connect back to where we started. Now we're ready to place the flooring for the second floor. I'm going to do barrels again, so I'm going to cover this whole section once again with a filler block. This one's much easier because we don't have to dig under the ground to place it. Something that's cool about using this flooring is you can actually access what's in these barrels whether you're on the first floor or the second floor. Now we want to destroy the whole right side of barrels we just placed. We can now begin placing the walls for the second floor. To do this we'll follow this column up on the right side and place it on this first block and build up four once again. Now, including the block that we just placed, come over four blocks and fill those in solid. Now place three grass blocks after that. On top of each grass block, place bamboo. On the inside of these grass blocks, you can line it with dark oak planks. This will cover up the hole that we had left there, except for one block. Continuing from the blocks we just placed, go all the way to the outside of the flooring. You can now fill in this whole back wall solid. Now line this layer of blocks right here on the top once again, leaving the middle gap open. You can fill this in with glass panes. Once again, grab your glass panes and outline the whole edge of the flooring and connect both the walls from each side. This will create one big large window. I just wanted to say for the people who aren't subscribed to the channel, my videos aren't normally this serious and this is really hard for me to do. And just a second ago, when I said big large window, it took everything in my body to not correct myself instantly. 
but because this is a tutorial, I'm trying to keep a professional manner so that nobody gets confused. Now that we've placed these windows, we can line the top of them with dark oak planks and then fill in the middle. We will now once again line the upper block with half slabs all the way around. If the bamboo is grown too tall, just cut it off and then place the half slabs. And also fill in the main window on the downstairs. Now for the final touch on the outside of the structure. Line this wall to the left of the bamboo with half slabs all the way until touching the bamboo. This now completes the main structure of the house. We are now ready to do the interior. On the inside, go to where there's this little empty section in the upstairs floor and place a lantern in this left corner and then a second lantern right before the gap. Where the gap is, starting at this block, place ladders all the way down. This section will be our crafting workstation area. For this, place a crafting table in this corner, two furnaces next to that, and an upside down dark oak stair, like so. On this stair, place a flower pot with a spruce sapling in it. We'll now move upstairs. Upstairs, we'll place two beds crouching due to the barrels, an upside down dark oak stair to the left with a lantern on top of it. This finishes the interior of the house. We will now do the landscaping. To begin the exterior of the house, I'm going to go to the front door and place an andesite pathway that is three blocks wide and continues to the left side of the house. When the pathway reaches the corner of the house, place an andesite half slab and then transition the pathway to the ground level. Starting at this half slab, layer snow blocks all the way around this pathway. We are now ready to begin placing our grass. To do this, fill in these two blocks all the way to the end of the snow. Carry this out three more blocks and fill this all in until you reach the edge of the building. One block before the edge of the building, place the snow blocks once again, one past the grass. Now fly back over to the stairs and dig out two blocks. Dig out all these blocks until you hit the edge of the grass in the front. Here you can turn and continue this all the way to the snow blocks. And then go ahead and chop off this last block right here. From here you can start at the snow block and carry. Then we're ready to follow this outline with snow blocks all the way around until we get back to the staircase. We also want to line this inner layer with snow blocks as well. Now dig out the bottom block in this trench all the way around. This is where you can light it up however you want. I'm going to light it up with the shroom lights and I'm going to do this every two blocks. After you've dug out the bottom layer and placed the lights, fill the rest in with snow blocks and then cover it all in water. So it should look like this when you're done. Now all we have left is our spruce leaves. To the right of our entrance, place four in this corner right here. Now come to the back side under the bamboo and place two, skip a block, two more, skip a block, and two more, like that. And this completes the build. If you want to add a little more texture to the landscape around it, I suggest using bone meal on the grass. And it'll give this effect right here. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Sorry this one was a little boring, but hopefully it was straightforward and clear, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.